Tucker Carlson and Elon Musk had a, quote, conversation about working together as former host looks to, quote, torch Fox News. You're their boss. You're providing oversight in our constitu constitutional system. He's like, yeah, but, you know, they're still spying on me. But the more you act like unhinged lunatics trying to destroy someone like Donald Trump, the more Trump supporters you create. The more unhinged you act and the more you attack people like Tucker Carlson, the more people start to align themselves with Tucker Carlson. The more popular he becomes. The more you say that he's a fascist and he's a crazy person and worst person on planet Earth, the more people will watch him and realize that you're basically full of it, and the more people will be pulled to his side as they realize that actually, you're just a fake news fascist like the rest of them. I've tried to warn him. They've been on a multi-year long crusade to cancel Tucker Carlson and Fox News finally, I guess, caved into the pressure. They actually ended up firing Tucker. Leftoids cheered for a couple weeks. Of course, it was nothing but copium. We covered most of it. And already, basically, the left's worst nightmare is coming true. We're now getting reports, get this, that Tucker Carlson is teaming up with Elon Musk, potentially. And of course, we have no details as to what that actually means. But what we do know for sure is that it probably means something absolutely freaking massive, something monumental monumental, possibly game-changing, a possible media revolution. Leftoids take the cancel culture L, here it is. Tucker Carlson and Elon Musk had a, quote, conversation about working together as former host looks to, quote, torch Fox News. Former Fox News host Tucker Carlson is preparing to torch his soon-to-be former employer and is apparently enlisting allies to help. According to an exclusive report on Sunday from Axios, Carlson is preparing to unleash allies to attack Fox News in an effort to bully the network into letting him work for or start a right-wing rival, sources close to him told the outlet. Axios added that the high-powered Hollywood lawyer that Carlson hired to represent him after Fox took him off air told the outlet, the idea that anyone is going to silence Tucker and prevent him from speaking to his audience is beyond preposterous. Tucker vs. Fox could reshape the conservative news world. Fox, which has seen its ratings plunge in Carlson's slot since he was let go 13 days ago, wants to sideline him by paying him $20 million a year not to work. Axios has learned that Carlson is busy plotting a media empire of his own, but he needs Fox to let him out of his contract, which expires January 2025 after the presidential election. Axios and others reported that Carlson has already been contacted by multiple outlets, including the Rumble streaming platform, Newsmax TV, and Valuetainment, and have offered to pay him more per year than Fox is shelling out. That's not exactly true with Valuetainment, but maybe I have the numbers wrong. In addition, Axios has learned that Carlson and Elon Musk had a conversation about working together, but didn't discuss specifics. According to sources close to him, Carlson is reportedly considering the possibility of creating his own direct-to-consumer media platform where his large fan base could pay to watch him. The model was previously used by Carlson's predecessor on Fox News, Bill O'Reilly, who was currently hosting a show during Carlson's old time slot for First TV, which recently became available on Direct TV. So actually, that's interesting. That's information that I didn't know. Tucker's still under contract at Fox News. They're still paying him supposedly $20 million a year. They want to keep him silent till the end of his contract in 2025, essentially paying paying him to not work and not compete against the network. I think that's commonly referred to as a non-compete clause, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's possible that he's just still under contract, not exactly sure how the contract was written. But Tucker, with a high-powered Hollywood lawyer, is currently fighting to get out of that contract and eyeing at starting his own network. Now, I really hope that he doesn't go the Bill O'Reilly route, you know, just kind of doing his own thing. And that's because the Tucker situation is very different from the Bill O'Reilly situation. Bill O'Reilly, for the most part, his exit from Fox News was at pretty much much a low for him. It wasn't really a situation where people in mass were ditching Fox News to chase Bill O'Reilly. The Tucker situation is completely, completely different. And so I think Tucker's in a very unique position here to team up with Elon Musk and make something absolutely massive. The next Fox News. You know what Newsmax and OAN have attempted to do to varying levels of success? I think if Tucker and Elon work together and made a network that's more in the middle, and not necessarily in the middle as in fence-sitting, but in the middle in the sense that bringing people from different perspectives, but people who are all based and uncensored and willing to say the things that corporate media talking heads just simply cannot. Just a straight-up anti-establishment network. You know, stuff like this. There are members of Congress who are controlled by the intel agencies. I'm not speculating on this. You know, I, I lived there for 35 years. I know right. this. I had a very high ranking, very high ranking member of the House Intel Committee tell me at dinner at a restaurant in Washington when he'd been drinking, we gotta talk about this. And I said, oh, I'll text you. He goes, I, I can't text. 
And I said, why is that? And he goes, well, because NSA reads my text. And I said, NSA reads it. Wait, you're the head guy on the intelligence committee. You're their boss. You're providing oversight in our constitution, constitutional system. He's like, yeah, but you know, they're still spying on me. Well, and that could be big. And frankly, I'll be completely honest with you guys. If they start a network, I am sending my resume immediately. I think it's high time that people start banding together. I've been saying this forever, and maybe I'm at fault for saying it and not necessarily acting on it or taking on the risk. But honestly, in the end, I don't think I'm the right guy to do it. But I've been saying forever that the collective power that independent creators wield is much greater than the mainstream media. The problem is we're all isolated in our own little corners. If you took all of the major political speakers on YouTube, YouTube, Twitter, Rumble, Facebook, whatever it is, and combine that power to be the ultimate network with a fan base that dwarfs anything seen in the mainstream media. Speaking of the right people to harness that power and to do something, well, Tucker and Elon seem like the perfect candidates if you ask me. Elon has the muscle, Elon has the vision, Elon also happens to be incredibly based. Well, I personally think that they could make a move that could revolutionize the media game for a very long time. It's time to bring a real challenge to the legacy media that has dominated the game for the last 100 years, essentially. Well, the legacy media dynasty, I think, is really coming to an end here. They're no longer in a position of oligarchy where they control all facets of the media. The media has been democratized in the age of the internet, and clearly Fox News is failing to adapt. They're currently crumbling. Their online endeavor, Fox Nation, has been a complete unmitigated disaster, just like CNN Plus was, which got axed 21 days after launch. Meanwhile, outlets like The Daily Wire, Daily Wire Plus, are booming beyond belief. That's Jeremy Boring and Ben Shapiro. Imagine Tucker Carlson and Elon Musk. Is there really anything else that I need to say? Do it! Do it!